Hello everyone, my name is Olubenga Arekoe, the Ed Engineer at B7 Studio here in Brazil. So this compression technique is called the B7 compression. What you do with this compression is um, you get a signal and this signal, you compress the signal in parallel to each other, similar to the New York compression, but a bit different from the New York compression because the approach is quite different. So what you do to the signal is, the first signal, you compress the peak level and you boss it out into an auxiliary. You now compress the RMS level. So now you get the click on one signal, on the same signal, you get the RMS, the low bottom end on the boss. What you now have to do is you blend the boss together to actually get what you want. So around here in Espirito Santo, a lot of sound engineers, they've been adopting this um, compression technique. To cut the long story short, let's quickly go on to see how this is being set up and how it sounds, okay? Playing out from a mix boss without no processing yet. Okay, so now as you can see, I'm using a native compressor on Pro Tools. So I'm compressing the attack of the entire music, very fast one. So you see, I'm adding some little distortion, like really distorting. And as you see the other compressor, I'm compressing the release a little bit more faster. So putting the both side by side, let's see. Okay, so now you see, on one compressor, I have a very fast attack, and on the other compressor, I have a very fast release. Okay, so now let's apply this technique to a single channel, the kick drum. You see the same process? So let's bypass the one with the first release. The one with the first release back on. The one with the first attack, bypass. Without no processing. The one with the first release on. The one with the first attack, back on. And the one with the first release, bypassed. You hear the one with the first attack? It's got a lot of slap on. So now let's put the both back in. Can you hear the difference? Welcome back. You could hear distinctively the difference between this compression technique and a normal compression. You could actually get the same theme or similar thing with some other styles, but this is a unique style, which I believe it's a unique style. I've used it on a lot of songs. So um, what I'm just gonna say is, Keep making music, you understand? Try this compression technique out, drop your comment down below and let's know what you think.
B7 Studio, fazendo você sua melhor. Top. B7 Studio, fazendo você sua melhor.